going on, disappointed Rock Band 4 and Guitar Hero Live fans? And let's do our weekly recap of this past week's news. Even though we had no DLC for Rock Band 4, we still had a lot of news come out. So we learned on Monday what artists are going to be released for Rock Band 4 this month for DLC. And if you were disappointed with Rock Band before, you're going to be even more disappointed with this uh, month's announcement. So we got Five Seconds of Summer, Carrie Underwood, The Cranberries, Fall Out Boy, Luke Bryan, Neon Trees, One Direction, and Sam Hunt are going to be coming to Rock Band this month. And it's going to pretty much become standard that the week we get the monthly update, we're not going to be seeing DLC for that week. So pretty much three or four weeks, three weeks of DLC we'll be getting every month. Maybe the odd month left, five weeks, we'll get four weeks during that time. The other piece of news we got is that Harmonix announced Rock Band 4 is possibly coming to the PC. They launched a Kickstarter on the website Fig. And if you go do some research on Fig, it's kind of a shady website, apparently, according to some. So uh, there's a whole backstory there with what happened with Psychonauts 2 and Tim Schafer. But as of recording this video, they've raised just over $320,000 with about 1,000 backers or so. Their, uh, their basic, um, their milestone is 1.5 million. Harmonix is gonna chip in 500,000 to help with the development. I don't think they're gonna make their mark. It'll be kind of funny to each watch their reaction when they realize that nobody wants Rock Band 4 on the PC and they just want them to fix the game on the consoles. We also got uh, some the March update this week. So on Thursday, there was about a four gigabyte update released for the game. I've been playing a lot of Rock Band 4 the past couple of days. I haven't really noticed any subtle differences, but the biggest changes are that you now the career mode um, stats transfer over to the leaderboards. We also got some new items in the Rock Shop. There's also a bunch of bug fixes as well. And then we also learned this week we were supposed to get the Rock Band 4 exports for Rock Band 2 and LEGO Rock Band, but they did not show up. Apparently they hit a snag with something to do with Sony. So hopefully we'll see some more information on them next week. Turning now to Guitar Hero Live, we got a 80 hairs metal, 80s hair metal set of premium shows. So we got three premium shows featuring Poison, Molly Crew, LA Guns, uh, Quiet Riot, Europe, Lita Ford, and a bunch of other bands. I've listed them all below. That basically does it for this week's news. I want to know from you guys, what do you make of this week's Rock Band 4 news? Most importantly, the PC uh, version possibly coming later this year. Comment below and let me know. And if you guys want to stay up to date on the latest rhythm gaming news, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Take care.